This is a polished floor. And we ground it to a nice salt and pepper finish right there. And over here we have some lighter aggregates, which is uh, right here in that area. is a low spot, but it's still got hit. And it's a nice uniform finish. Here's some more exposed. Beautiful. And this is a bedroom for one of the firemen. Local fire station in Glendale, 156. And we took the base cove off uh, around the perimeters, uh, all around all of these rooms, so we could get up really tight uh, next to the edge. That's really close. And I'd say a quarter inch, the max. And we ground using 80s, and then we brought it up to an 800 grit. Uh, put stain guard down and burnished it in. And we're coming back tomorrow. We're going to put the base up all around the perimeters. Same color. It's going to be green. I'm heading back now to where our work is already in progress. And you'll see the steps around the edges that we do. We went around the perimeter, cut in all the way to the edge, all the way around. And of course, this little stuff right here is going to be covered up with the coat. And through here, we got Frank. Hi, Frank. And he has our Mox 3 on, which is the next polishing process. Then we go around the perimeter of the room again. This side has already been done around the perimeter the first go around. And we do use water to keep the dust down. And then Guy. Hey Guy, how you doing man? Alright, how are you doing? Oh cool. He's doing the hard to get to areas. Like right here in the corner. Getting right in there. All the way around this trim as well. For more information, go to ConcreteRepairMan.com.